exams with TfL. This one is going from Bishop's Bridge Road to Kempsford Road. So your starting point is Bishop's Bridge Road, which is there, and the finishing point is here. This map is what you would see if you was using our training platform. It's exactly like TfL's. Um, so here we go. So what you need to do is whenever you're faced with a route planning question, first and foremost is you've got to suss out which way you're going to go and you've got to look out for any road closures that TfL may have given you. Now, you have to travel in the most direct way possible. This button here, we have this on our training platform. It's a grid button. So that is showing you a straight line between the start and finishing points. And what you'll find is TfL will score you less and less the more out you go into these outer lines. So you may get everything correct, 100% correct, but because you've gone out so far, they'll start deducting minus two, minus three, minus four, like that. Um, aside from that, you've got to try and go as direct as possible. This is a fairly long one, but it'll come under a short route. So I'm going to show you, I'll probably travel down here make my way here go across there and somewhere around here i'll either drop down one of these yellow b roads or i'll just stick to there and go across lambeth and that way so i know exactly where i'm going to go let's take the grid off because i find it easier for myself to do it like that and what you do is you click start drawing same as tfl first click must be here at the tip then you do a second one there stick to the top of the numbers it's probably easier You've got a one-way system here so try and make it as nice as possible and then go across here this is a one-way system stick to the rules i'm going to try and go as quick as i can just bear with me guys sometimes just watching me will be self-explanatory keeping to the left as we come down here you know it's very important to stick to the left because tfl will give you zero if you start touching the sides either the center or on the left of the road so we continue down here if for any reason you find oh I forgot which direction I'm going in am I on the right road am I going in the am I taking the most optimum direct route all you do is click home and you can see here we're on the right track so back zoom in uh, connection's a bit slow there, but yeah, and then you continue clicking. We're going to go down this one-way street. Remember, the red arrows denote a one-way flow of traffic, so you can go anywhere on either side of the road of this one-way road, but I like to keep it in the center. Come down here, come down here, and we're going to come to Hyde Park Corner. Stick to the left here, and we go around the one-way system. That jaggedy line underneath there, that's an underpass, yeah, for Knightsbridge. But we're not bothered about that. Just ignore that. Don't get confused at this point. Come around the one-way system here and turn left. Stick to the top of the letters. Drag the map up and continue down, guys. So this one you should practice. We've got it on our route planning practice sessions. So if you want to be prepared for the exam... You want to be buying one of our packages just to ensure you're ready. Now, I need to check whether I'm going to go that way or this way. So I'll just click. Well, I'll just zoom out. I won't completely, completely zoom out. Um, so if I could come across here, my red flag is up there. So technically, I want to go up here, Victoria Street. So we zoom back in, continue off where we were. We could turn up there and turn down here. It doesn't really make a huge difference in terms of getting the optimal scores with TfL. And you come across there. Try and stick to the top. I could go down there, but I won't. I'll just make this video as short and sweet as possible so you get the gist of what needs to be done. Come around here. You're approaching a roundabout. Follow the rules of the roundabout. Come around here, stick to the left. We're on Margaret Street, Old Abington Street. I'm going to come down Millbank. We'll hit Millbank down here. We'll come to the roundabout. This is how you do to get maximum marks. Now from here, you can see 
the flag is here so at this point I would just step back a bit and just have a look right which is the best way I can't go down there I could come down here or even easier just come here because I'm not completely off a direct route if I come this way so let's do this so we'll come around a roundabout do as many clicks as you like guys a lot of people do get scared thinking there's a restriction on the amount of clicks you can do as many as you like just stick to your side of the road that is the main thing and when it's straight you can go a bit longer stretch it out so when you do your right it's like a right angle and make that very very neat you come down here and we'll take it to that point and then we will turn left onto this one-way street which is Wincott Street and then Wincott Street at this point is a two-way so we will come down to the bottom here fully zoomed in and the last click is there boom that is a perfect route and this one is in this year's exam so if you want to practice this please get in touch with us or use our services and that is the route that we've done. For that, you would get maximum marks. I'll be doing some more videos. Please like and subscribe.